In today's video, I am going to show you how I embroidered this Carter baby onesie and toddler shirt for my daughter's photo shoot using the Hoopmaster Infant Station with Mighty Hoops. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to add straight lines across the stand just as a reference point for my common sizes. Okay, the first shirt that we're going to hoop is a size extra small pro club for my four-year-old daughter. I'm gonna use the eight by nine Mighty Hoop, which is a perfect fit for this size of shirt. Now, when placing the hoops, make sure that the writing and the stickers are facing down. Okay, I went ahead and measured the hoop size just to make sure I got a perfectly fitted tearaway sheet, which will fit right on top of our magnet base. Okay, now comes the easy part. I'm just easily going to slide this shirt all the way down. When I used to hoop t-shirts and onesies the old fashioned way, I used to really just get them right perfectly straight on the second or third try. Now, I knock it out in one shot. Once you verify that your shirt is straight, just go ahead and snap the magnet in one quick take. Now I'm gonna take it off the stand and I'm just going to double and triple check that my shirt is good to go. You can also draw a straight line with a water soluble pin to be sure that you have a straight line going down the middle. All right, this is a simple applique project. For this project, I just wanted to keep the design simple and clean. The next shirt we're hooping is our onesies from Carter's. I'm a big fan of Carter's and Gap brand. Those are like my go-to brands for baby gear. We'll start off with preparing our tearaway. I'm going to measure and cut for a perfect fit on our hoop. And these clips, they hold the stabilizer nice and firm to prevent any shifting. Now, this is the easy part. We're simply going to insert the onesie over the stand. And as long as you pull it over in a straight line, it should all just line up in one shot. I'm using the 5.5 by 5.5 Mighty Hoop, which works perfect with these onesies. And when I place the top magnet, I just wanna be sure that the open notch is facing down from the onesie. And snap, good to go. Let's take it off the station and verify we're good to go. Yup, looks perfect. Okay, so same process as before, cut line, Place fabric, cut, and complete stitch out. Okay, there's always a big debate whether to use cutaway or tearaway on onesies, especially because they're so thin. Some of them could be very thin. So in my situation, I've used both, okay? It all depends how, how much density your design has. Okay, but in this, in this design, I was good to go with Tearaway. And there you have it, another easy breezy project. Make sure you leave your questions and comments down below and I'll respond as fast as I can. All right, peace.